Brother Mike, man of God, on fire for Christ. Um, just leaving y'all another video. God is so good, you know. Um, I finally was able to do a lot of open, to do some open air preaching last week. I'm uh, glad that a lot of y'all tuned in, you know. God has just been working with me. But I was driving yesterday and God told me, every video you make from now on, warn the people. Warn my people. You know, warn my people of what's to come. And um, I said, yes, Lord, I will. I will warn your people, Lord. So every video that I am, I'm doing for now on, you know, I'm going to be warning y'all, you know, that to get right. Um, God has just been blessing me for so many people that's been calling me, giving me information on what's going on because I'm not perfect, y'all. You know, um, I leave these videos because I love God. I know this is the reason why I was born, to encourage people. Uh, and I finally took what God has given me and, and, and used it for the will of God. Amen. I was so busy doing my own thing, so busy caring about what I wanted to do, so busy caring about what my friends wanted to do, you know. Uh, I wasn't worried about the things that God wanted me to do. And now I'm totally locked in and I'm focused on what God wanted me to do. So I want to tell y'all that, yes, the rapture could be finna happen any day. But don't get caught up on the rapture, y'all. We have to get worried about Jesus Christ and where we stand with Jesus. So many people are so worried about the rapture and the event of the rapture that they don't, they're not even focusing on Jesus Christ. Is, is, is the rapture more important than Jesus? You know? No. Jesus want us to stay prayed up, stay in the word, help people, love one another with love, and the rapture will take care of itself. If you're sitting here and you're scared about what's going to happen in the rapture, if you're going to be left and all of that, you're missing the very point. Jesus Christ loves you. Focus on Jesus. Quit worrying about the rapture. Quit worrying about are you rapture ready. If you love Jesus and you're focusing on Jesus Christ and you're giving him your time and you repent every day and you're loving God, the rapture is going to help. It's going to, it's going to do itself. You've already got your place at the table for the rapture. But we lose ourselves when we start just worrying about the rapture. The rapture is going to take care of itself. Love Jesus with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. Focus on Jesus Christ. Don't focus on everything somebody's telling you that's going to happen to this world because it's out of our control. Jesus is judge. What's going to happen to this world is out of our control, y'all. We know what Revelation says about what's going to happen to this world. Yes, the world is going to get towed up. Yes, God's anger and all his wrath is going to be poured upon the world. But when you love God and, and you save, you have nothing to fear. You are going to be caught up. You know, for a long time, I was being scared and I was telling my family, you know, we got to be saved. We got to be saved. We got to be rapture ready and all of this. But God let me know yesterday, trust in him. Put your, put your, put your cares and your worries in, in, into God. Don't worry about the rapture. The rapture is going to take care of itself. God loves you. If you love God and you're repenting and you stand prayerful, God is going to bless you. He's going to keep you from the hour. That's what the Bible says. He's going to keep you from, from his destruction, from his wrath. Okay? Don't worry about what's going to happen to this world because we have no control over what's going to happen, y'all. I'm just being honest. We don't have any control over what's going to happen. We don't know when the rapture is going to be. We don't know what day, time, not even the son knows. It's all in the hands of the father. So I just want y'all to just love God. Stay prayerful. Pray for everybody on YouTube. Pray for your family. Pray for your friends. Pray for your co-workers. Pray for everybody because, you know, I've been talking to people and it's a lot of people that's lost, y'all. That's why I go out in these streets and let give people the opportunity to accept God. And, uh... You know, Satan tried to attack me when I went to go open air preach. You know, that I was supposed to, to get a ride, to use a car. The man said no. My wife told me, 
you know, you don't have enough money to go preach for that day. You know, we on a budget to do something else. All the things pointing against me open that preaching. I said, no, Satan is a liar. I'm going to preach. Amen. And God made a way. We're in the last days, y'all. We, we know it. The demons know it. The angels in heaven know it. You know, everybody know it. We just got to continue to love God with all our heart, all our mind. You know, and everything. We got to continue to love God, man. You know, um, we just got to do the will of God. We got to love him. We got to love one another. And stay prayed up. You know, we got to stay prayed up and we got to do what we got to do. You know, to be found worthy for the rapture. Too many people, they base everything on the rapture. The rapture is this, the rapture is that. God is going to take care of that. Let God do his job. Our job is just to love God, spread his word. It's souls to be saved, y'all. You know, that's why God keep giving us days. There's too many, there's so many people that's lost. Focus your time on loving one another. Focus your time on trying to save a soul. Don't worry about what people are going to say about you. Tell somebody about Jesus Christ today. That is our job. Once we know about God, we're supposed to spread the gospel, y'all. You know. I was a shy person. It took a lot for me to go out here and open that preach. But you know what? I love God too much to not do it. Amen. All that God done for me saved a wrench like me. And I can't go out and preach, preach the word of God. The devil is a liar. You know? The devil is a liar. Y'all, come on, y'all. Jesus, Jesus gave us all bodies to go out here. We supposed to help our Lord. Preach the word of God, y'all. You know, preach the word of God. Do what y'all got to do, y'all, in these last days to get souls to the kingdom of God. Don't just worry about your soul. Don't just worry about your family's soul. That's what so many people are doing. They just, well, I'm saved and I'm, I'm waiting on the rapture. These people don't want to listen. Don't, don't do that. That's the worst thing you can do is just care about yourself. You know, that's the worst thing you can do is just care about yourself. Because that's what Satan did. Satan only cared about himself. And that's the reason why he got kicked out of heaven. Pride. He was the cherubim angel that, that covered the throne of God. He's the angel that covers. That's what the Bible says about Satan. He was a beautiful angel and he covered the throne of God. And a lot of angels looked up to him. You know, he was a beautiful angel. He was a mighty cherubim angel. And But his pride. You know, because his pride. You know. You know, he wanted to be what God was. He wanted to be, take the place of Jesus Christ. And we can't allow that. We can't allow pride to, to not let us talk to people. We can't let pride let us think we're better than people. We can't let pride think that, you know, that we know more than people. You know, we can't let pride do that. Um, Derek Prince said, and he's a, one of the, a, one of, a strong man of God, he said, to go up, you must go down. In order to go up, you must go down. The Lord, you, the, Lord, the Lord, you take yourself. The Lord, you humble yourself. The Lord, you say, the Lord, you, you tell, Lord, let, me, let you take control, Lord. The higher God will bless you, the higher you will get in faith. But the more you think that you know everything, that you're walking around and you saved and you think you high and mighty, that's not what God wants you to do. That's what Satan did. Satan, oh, I'm the cherubim that covers the throne room of God. I'm the prettiest angel. I'm the closest angel to God. I can be God. Don't be like Satan. The lower you go, the higher you will get. The more you humble yourself, the more you say, Lord, I submit to your will. The more you say, Lord, I'm nothing but a filthy rag. Lord, the, the, the honor and the glory is yours, Father God. I'm nothing. But with you, I have everything. The more and more you glorify God and lower yourself, in the eyes of God, the more God will bless you. The more God will, will, will show you more. Sometimes we got so much pride, we can't even hear from God because of our pride, y'all. That's the reason why we can't hear from God. And we can't have visions and stuff. Because when God bless us with something, we don't know how to act with it. We got too much pride. I love y'all. May God bless y'all and keep y'all. This brother Mike, man of God. You see my shirt? Fear God. You know, fear God, y'all. Fear God. 
I love y'all so much. I can't wait to meet y'all in heaven. Can't wait to sit down and talk to y'all. Can't wait to see my Lord, my Savior. Well, it's almost there, y'all. We almost home. Don't give up the fight. Don't let Satan discourage you. Don't go back to this world that God saved you from, y'all. Please, don't go back. Anybody that need to call me, please call me. You know my number. 708-359-7150. God bless you and keep you. You know, um, thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. My sister, Laura, from Michigan, thank you for what God has given you. Another sister, child of God. You know, she had a dream, and God was in the dream, and she watched my video, and God told her that Brother Mike is mine, you know, and that that just that just, that just just almost brought tears to my eyes because God knows us, y'all. When we think God don't know us, he know us, y'all, and I ask God to give me confirmation if what I'm doing is right, Lord. If, you know, just give me some confirmation if, am I doing the right thing for your kingdom, and there it was, y'all. Don't be deceived by the evil one. God loves you. He knows you. And he loves you, y'all. This is Brother Mike, man of God. I love y'all. Until the next video, God bless y'all and keep you. May grace and peace be with all of you. Amen.